Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I felt like doing a full walk around on this brand new 2024 Dodge Durango GT Plus with the black top edition. This color is called Frostbite. It is stock number 24T141. And I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Dodge Durango headquarters. And this 2024 Dodge Durango has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, puts out 295 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. It is paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you 25 miles per gallon highway, 18 city for an average of 21 miles per gallon. This one does have the towing package and can tow up to 6,200 pounds. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video and I'm gonna show you all the options. We're gonna look at all the styling cues and uh, even gonna look at the original window sticker here at the end of the video. It's also linked in the description below on YouTube, so check that out. And starting off the GT package, you're gonna get the LED headlamps, the LED running lights, and those are really good looking and very bright. And I'll turn those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. Of course, you get the color match bumpers and everything. This one does have the single hood scoop with the two heat extractors on it, kind of the sport hood. And the black top edition gives you these 20 inch kind of granite crystal painted alloy wheels. It comes with Pirelli Scorpion 26550R20s. You also get the black mirror bezels on there. This one does have the hideaway roof rack and it comes with the sunroof as well. Let me know what you think of this color, uh, frostbite blue. This might be one of the best looking Durangos we've had on our lot in quite some time. You do get the dual rear exhaust with the chrome exhaust tips. You also have the backup parking sensors right there. This one does have the full towing package with receiver hitch four pin or four pin and seven pin wiring there. You get the blacked out Durango and GT logo as well as the Dodge lettering on there and the LED racetrack tail lamps that go all the way across. Those look really good when the vehicle when they are on so we'll check that out as well we do have the cover for the receiver hitch i always like putting them inside the vehicle so they don't go missing on the lot and these third row seats manually fold down like so and you can see just how nice and flat they go in the second row when they're down you have a nice large load area just grab the strap there to put those up these headrests can be controlled from a button on the radio to flip down which are pretty cool and you do get a nice big storage space under here. Your jack tools are in there as well. And that's where you put the jack tool to lower the spare tire. Get this gate down, you press this button, it'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent as do almost every Stellantis Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram product. You also get the capless fuel fill on here. Never get gas on your hands and Let's take a look at this frostbite blue metallic. It's got a lot of metal flake in it. And I know the picture studio doesn't really do this color justice when it's on the camera. I don't know why the, the studio gives it an orange hue, but um, really a good looking color. And every once in a while you'll get glimpses of the actual color, but in the picture studio here, it gives it like an orange hue, I'm not sure. Heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring, built-in directional signals. This one does have the enter and go system. So if you have the key fob in your pocket or your purse or whatever, if it's on you, you put your hand in there, the doors will automatically unlock. If you have the key fob on you and you press that button, it'll automatically lock all the doors. Now this one has one special option, the uh, second row tumble seats, as they call them, or quad seating. You get the latch child safety system really nice soft touch leather the red stitching on there you get the um, rombi dodge logo stitched into the backrest as well these seats can fold down nice and flat like i said for when you need the extra cargo area and then to get to the third row you just grab this red strap and that folds up like so third row seats two seater back there you do get lights and cup holders has a floor mat back there as well. These second row seats are heated. They're the heated seat buttons, two USBs and a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. You also have floor mats back here and rear air controls. 
You get the kind of carbon fiber simulated door trim, child safety locks on the back doors as well. And up front, you get the same black leather bucket seats with the red stitching. There's that original window sticker. We're gonna check that out in just a minute here. Side curtain airbags. Both of these front seats are heated and power. Driver's side lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps. You do get the power telescopic and tilt steering wheel. Power windows, locks, and mirrors. And you get the dark chrome finish around the door handles as well as the memory driver's seat. Also note it comes with the flat bottom steering wheel there. Let's hop inside, check out the instrument cluster and radio. Get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer. Uh, you can put compass, range to empty, uh, miles per gallon, whatever you want in those corners um, to uh, show. It's all configurable. Comes with a heated leather wrap steering wheel. Adaptive cruise control, so you can control the distance between you and the car in front of you and normal cruise controls. Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. You do have the paddle shifters and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one comes with the Uconnect 5 10.1 inch touchscreen radio. It does have the factory navigation system on there. There is no subscription required for that. You get AM, FM, Sirius, Bluetooth, USB, AUGS, and Alexa hookups on the radio here. You also have your climate controls, which you can do up there. These front seats are heated and cooled, and uh, the heated steering wheel controls are there as well. And then you have all your different apps. So check out, I'm going to press that button, check out those headrests back there. So if the kids are being naughty, bang, stop it. Just kidding, don't do that. I do not condone violence. There's your backup camera. You have the center grid line there, which makes it easy to get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time, every time. And then you get all your different apps on here. Uh, basically, this is just a lot of links to different parts of the radio. So if you go to media, you would see all this stuff in media. Comfort, heated seats. Once again, if you went to comfort, all this stuff would be there. Navigation system, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I believe they're wireless in the Uconnect 5 system. Uh, vehicle system and other. So all those different um, links to different parts of the radio there. You get the nice gloss black trim around the instrument cluster and the radio there. Down here, your more tactile climate controls, um, heated and cooled seat buttons, volume and tune controls there as well. Uh, dual climate control, start stop capability, sport mode, which allows you to use those paddle shifters, eco mode, hazard light stability control, and your parking sensors. You can turn those off and on. Two USBs, two USB Cs, and an AUGS jack. Nice storage area there. Keyless entry with remote start and power lift gate. And there is your eight speed automatic transmission shifter. Nice leather pad on there. You get that simulated carbon fiber trim on the dash. And this one does have the power sunroof, which is a nice feature to have as well. Home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, sunroof controls and rear gate controls and map lights, SOS and assist buttons there. Let's take a quick look under the hood and then we'll check out those LED lights as well before we do our final look at the original window sticker. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. Now, if you learned anything or if you enjoyed the video at all, Give me a like, subscribe, and share on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto, and click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, doing a lot more new vehicle walkarounds lately. Under the hood, we have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 295 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque, everything you need to worry about the windshield washer fluid, power steering fluid, or maybe that's the brake. That's the brake fluid right there. I think doesn't really say yeah that's that's got to be the brakes no that's power steering i don't know it's one of the two anyways coolant oil uh, there's your fuse box and everything no cover on this one um, i think stellantis is getting away from putting covers over the engines just at a grand cherokee really high-end grand cherokee that didn't have it so um, anyways, there are those LED lights. Let's do a walk around here and then we'll check out the original window sticker 
and we'll be all set. Those lights are very bright. They look really good with uh, this particular frostbite blue color. And then of course the racetrack tail lamps look really good as well. All right, let's check out that original window sticker. Remember, this is linked in the description below. If you don't want to watch the video, you can check that out. But make sure to subscribe and like the video. It helps out with the algorithm a lot for us. 2024 Dodge Durango GT Blacktop all-wheel drive. Uh, you can see it is a GT all-wheel drive. Frostbite, pearl coat, black interior, leather trim seats, 3.6 liter eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. 24.6 gallon fuel, fuel tank. The one thing I did forget to mention, this one does come with a factory brake controller for that towing package. So um, you got a trailer that has electric brakes on there. That's a really nice feature as well. Just remember that, sorry about that. Interior features, these are your standard equipment. And one thing I'll note uh, as soon as we get done with this, um, you'll notice something here. Uh, so anyways, you get uh, 8.4, which is over run with the 10.1 right here. Frostbite Pearl Coat is 395. The plus package 2BG is 4,000 bucks. You get the uh, power eight-way driver and passenger seat, the leather trim bucket seats, the Uconnect 5 with the 10.1 inch touchscreen display, ventilated front seats, automatic dimming exterior driver mirror, Multi-function fold-away power mirrors, uh, power sunroof, 115-volt auxiliary power outlet navigation, heated second-row seats, power driver and passenger four-way lumbar, exterior mirrors with supplemental signals and memory, uh, memory for the radio, LED, aux, low beam, and turn signal, full-speed forward collision warning plus black roof rails, uh, integrated roof rail crossbars, Adaptive cruise control, heavy engine, heavy duty engine cooling, HD radio, dual remote charge only, Dodge Connect, 4G LTE Wi Fi hotspot, Sirius XM 360L, connected travel and traffic services, rear low leveling suspension, because uh, that, because it has the factory tow package, uh, it has the rear low leveling suspension, power tilt and telescopic steering wheel, and 180 amp alternator. Black top package, which is $19.95. GT gloss black badging, performance hood, gloss black badges, 265 performance tires, 20 inch by 8 inch black noise aluminum wheels, and the second row fold and tumble captain's chairs, which are $14.95, six passenger seating. So before we get to the pricing here, um, you tell me if you can find where it says it has the factory tow package on here. It doesn't but it absolutely does and the only thing that really tells you that it has the tow package is the heavy duty engine cooling and the rear low leveling suspension but it doesn't say anything about the brake controller and it doesn't say anything about the hitch or the wiring so Stellantis you got to fix that on this window sticker so people know it's got the tow package anyways total prices MSRP is $52,900 so Stellantis just came out with a bunch of rebates this month. This uh, so this vi when I, whenever this video was taken, Stellantis just came out with a bunch of rebates, and I just looked on our website, and we have close to seven to eight thousand dollars off with rebates and incentives on this particular Durango. So check that out. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen. If you want to get your summit price, click that to our website and check it out there. There's more pictures and a spin and more interactive stuff you can do with this vehicle. Three year, 36 bumper to bumper, five year, 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon, greenhouse and smog ratings, and the safety ratings, four and five stars, pretty good. Only thing that's three is the rollover, but four and five stars for everything else. So that's everything. Let me know in the comments below if you liked the video. If you're still watching, I definitely appreciate it. And to see more pictures of this Durango or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Durangos, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications and get updates on the videos I do each and every day. And 
subscribe to that YouTube channel so you do not miss out on gems like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Dodge Durango videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we are super excited to be offering the 2024 Dodge Durango GT Plus with the blacktop edition on it. Really a good looking ride, really a good looking color and I'm sure this one will go fast. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and have a great day.